Okay. What's up? <laughs> We're okay. Hi. Hello. Chilling. It's only 6.45. I'm just... <laughs> it's 6.45. It's barely night out. <laughs> um, but we were up late. Yeah. That's your Got fault. Got up pretty early, too. Um, so, previously on our little uh, foray into the town of Locke, uh, you guys fought a lot of goblins. You met my favorite goblin, Ska'ari, uh, of the Spice Clan. Yes. Uh, he did... He fucked you up. Korik was, or Kodak was awful. No help. Uh, no help. No help. And uh, what's going to happen is going to make you even more mad. I just know it. So um, at the end of the last session, uh, oh. our hobgoblin friend, who seems to be the head of this swarm, brought in some two bugbears with him. And he came in and he was like, yeah, this place is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty... <laughs> Pretty cool. So he's Larry Pretty David now? Yeah, he's Larry Pretty David. Pretty cool. Pretty good. This isn't tap water. Um, this isn't filter water. So, with that, we have already rolled initiative. We're using the same initiative order. I've already rolled for all of our new friends here. Uh, Can we re-roll for Kodak? <laughs> nah. His initiative's fine. It's everything it's else. Ev- it's his life. Sucks. Okay. Just, so, to, just to refresh. Please. Let's, 19, 18, 17. Correct. So and that Kodak was also a 19. Yes. Mm-hmm. So let's, let's refresh. 1, 12, 8. Oh, health. That's our yeah. Health. We're all, we're Not all pretty doing good. Let's do it. I also had my relentless endurance already, so if I go down again, I can't get back up. And I went down and got back up. Because al- I'm also a barbarian. I shot also top something. In the face. Yeah, it was his fault. <laughs> uh, okay. Accidentally. So, on purpose. As you guys are talking, and this hobgoblin comes out of nowhere the woodwork amongst all the carnage he whistles and all the goblins just kind of stand at attention and he says something in goblin and you see the other goblins besides the ones we have here kind of stand down can I speak to animals no Damn, I just, <laughs> it's worth a shot one of you has a, a helmet that's comprehend language you look like a doofus but you're like I can hear you <laughs> um <laughs> so uh, he just barks he's barking at them and uh in DMX, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's gonna give it to you. <laughs> yeah, he's he's barking in goblin, and you see the others kind of. They, it looks like they're actually retreating. And our new hobgoblin friend kind of comes out and he goes, "No, this will be good for our uh, our lord." Oh, I see that uh, you met Scarry. And he's looking at all of it, and you just see the debris, and while he says that, another building just slowly goes, Yeah, he was here. Uh, well, I don't see him here, so either you killed him, or I lost, uh, 20 gold. I killed his clone. Oh, that was a clone. Yeah. Huh. Smart. So... I have a feeling this isn't going to go the way I want it to. Would you leave kindly so we can take this town? Because I feel like it's ours. I mean, can you can you just give me one minute to talk with my friends? Oh, please. Can talk we just yourselves. go over here? Nah. Can, just, just real just, quick. Uh, nah. Just, uh, put your put. I just, we're just gonna, so we're so gonna we, discuss. We can talk about it. We right? can or I mean, we can't. Oh, no, we're talking like out loud, like a table discussion. And Fennec is gonna just jump from one of the buildings down, superhero landing style, and he's gonna go, What the fuck? Are we, are we talking right now? Hold on, hold on, hold on. So these guys aren't here anymore? No, they're here. They're just, just, they're just kind of standing at attention. Oh, okay. What the actual fuck? Long story short. <laughs> nope. And he points over at Kodak. What the fuck, man? He's so old. Oh, Fennec, that's you? Mike, you're up. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Well, I'm in rough shape, so I'm gonna uh, start going towards uh, the, the guy that reviews. Uh, right here? Right here. Okay. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <clears throat> and I'm gonna swing on him. Okay. So I have advantage, and I'm still raging. So you are. That didn't. Ra- that didn't end. Oh, that was not good. Uh, uh, sixteen. Uh, sixteen hits. Okay. Ooh, 
Uh, that's a, um... Nine. Nine? And then I'm gonna use my last ten feet of movement to get closer to Absidy. <clears throat> and say, Give me a potion if you can. <laughs> I got you, my dude. Uh, Kodak is gonna look at Fennec and go, What? And he's like, Are you fucking kidding me? You get closer to him! And he goes, Oh, the... Right. He kind of looks with his good eye, which happens to be the one that's scarred and squinty, so he kind of goes, of course it is. And he starts muttering to himself. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, that is... I feel the daggers. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh Each heal 26 points. <laughs> oh, oh God. okay. What did you think it was? You thought uh, he was going to damage us? Yeah, no, well, I mean, considering what he was saying, what the fuck are you doing? I thought he was, because of the last adventurers, I thought he was going to just start fucking tell them. No, he else. looked oh. at all of you fucked, and he's like, dude, <laughs> You're the dude clan. you can help. <laughs> yeah. So 26, you said? 26 each. Are these goblins still standing at attention? Yeah. Even though Shart... Like butcher. I mean, this all happens in like a second. Yeah. So while Shart's like moving around, he's like, "Go over there." Uh. So and that's with his turn. So uh, Abs uh, Rufio, you're up. Uh. Cool. Um. I didn't even know. Um, 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 um. I'm going to. Uh. Turn. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to face with my bonus action. I'm. Go- oh no, I can't do that. Never mind. Uh, I'm going to take the scythe out, mm-hmm. and I'm going to cut my finger with it. Okay. And I'm going to look at them, and I'm going to cast Bane on all three. Hot. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, they have to beat a 15 charisma save. These three? Yeah. Okay. The big bads. Yeah, I got you. Pat, for the people at home, what does Bane do? Uh, if they fail the charisma save, they then have to roll a D4 with anything, and it's subtracted by that number. Dope. And what's the uh, save? 15. Charisma. Okay. Okay. Uh, these two, I'm going to put condition on. He got a 19. Damn. Good call, though. Okay. Uh, however, that takes an action. Mm-hmm. So I'm done. Okay. Uh, actually, I will... No, I'll take an attack of opportunity. Yeah, I'm good. Plus, that gives me a sneak attack. So. Okay. Sure. Uh, absolutely, you're up. Okay. Well, I'm going to move right next to Shart. Mm-hmm. Can you kill the one that's about to get into the... Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's probably a good idea. I, I should probably do that. Yeah, he was just saying. Then I'll move right here. Which you're yep. within five feet of me, so you have advantage. Oh, I do get advantage, too? Mm-hmm. Nice. So that would be modded 20. Okay. Or. Nah. Yeah. Modded 20. Okay. Modded 20. Great. Bup, 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 bup. Eight. Okay. Dead. See your death. <laughs> and then I will move up to the one that's right next to Rufio. Use my bonus action to do another attack. Okay. Which would give me 13. 13 doesn't hit. Doesn't hit. Then I will hang out. Oh, hey. <laughs> What's up, my dude? Oh, hey, girl. You hit me. Sorry. You hit me. Let's accident. talk about this. You gotta work on your aim, man. I know. I'm sorry. I've used the it's... toilet after you, and it's just gross. What? I'm Can learning we stop this right now? Things. <laughs> <laughs> this is hell. <laughs> Shark's uncomfortable. Okay, so Bugbear is going to go 1, 2, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He's going to go for Fennec. And then this one is going to... Okay, he's going to start moving up. Okay. 
So any attack roll or saving throw, they have to have a d4 as well. Okay. It's subtract. So subtract, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's a 14. 14 hits him. But it's a minus one to the attack roll? Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's 13. He misses. Okay, and so you see this bugbear take out this uh, uh, mace that it's been holding onto its shoulder, swing towards Fennec, and Fen- Fennec just kind of ducks under. Uh, and it is actually his turn, so he is going to go ahead and spend a key point. Okay, and then he is going to use... A flurry of blows. Okay, so you make two unarmed strikes as a bonus action. So he's going to roll 3d20s. Three d three d okay, so two of those hit. I'm going to roll all of them at once because it just makes sense. He's going to use another key point on his second action attack. And do another, so two hit. Okay, and another one hit. So that is eight d6s. Wow. Damn. And you kind of just see him drop down, and like Bruce Lee, he's like, nah, 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 nah. all ones. Oh, no. <laughs> is the bugbear dead? Did he oko it? I don't know yet. Uh, 12, 18, 28. <laughs> He doesn't look good. <laughs> okay. Good. So they're killable. Good. <laughs> he lives there then. Okay. So Fennec is just good there. And... Okay. Cool. Now it is our goblin's turns. So he's going to... He has a bow, so he's going to move here. He's going to move here. One, two, three, four. Goblin attacks. This is a good idea in theory, but... (laughs) What? I don't have a big enough dice tray to organize everything. Okay, so that one doesn't hit. Uh, Let's see. 16, that's one hit. Uh, 15... Six. So that's that doesn't hit. Okay, so he takes seven points of damage. Okay, so um, so he hit him. Everyone else just misses. So, Cor- Codex is the only one who gets hit again. <laughs> you just always hit. You always miss. What's going on? You all right, dude? <laughs> can you see? <laughs> can you can you see? Okay, and now it's going to be uh, Captain's turn. Captain. Captain. So he's going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. What does he have? No, he's good. He's going to wait. And now we're back at the top of the round. Shark, you're up. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> what should I do, boys? Go for the big guy? Get that archer. Just start clearing him out. Okay. That's what she say. Uh, so I move towards the archer. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and I'll be within f- five feet of Absidy when I go to swing on him. So. Okay. Uh, 23. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got it. And 14 points of damage. So, so this one? Uh, yeah. Gone. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm going to go ahead and move towards the one in front of Rufio. And thank you. Now I'm flanked, so... We already knew it was happening. I know what this is. <laughs> okay, so does a 26 hit? Yeah. No. Sure does. And that's another 14 points of damage. Okay. Uh, He's dead. Cool. Uh, ah. Codex up. He's going to attempt to kill this one goblin. This isn't going to go well. <laughs> Just believe in yourself and believe in him. He's killed like two... We've each killed, like, 20, but he's killed two. <laughs> he's trying really hard. He's doing his best. He right, healed good. us, so I'll take that. So he takes out his Warhammer, and that's a 17. Wow. He did it. Make that Proud three. Of you. <laughs> 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 I don't got a wham in me, but I got a bam. <laughs> okay, and that's... Okay. 
Yeah, he's able to one-shot him once. He's like, All right, you bastard. And he's going to move his self to 10, 15, 20, 30. Okay. Uh, it is Rufio's turn. What's the play, boys? Kill the captain. Heard that. Go for uh, Butthead McSlutface. Yeah, slut me butt face. What? Which one's butt head makes slut face? Oh, shut up! <laughs> Who told you? Hired Scarry, go for him. Uh, all right, I will uh cast Hexblade's curse uh-huh. on the warlord. Warlord. Sure. Uh, that makes me as a bonus action. I can <clears throat> choose one creature I see within thirty feet. Curse it for one minute or until the target dies. Against the cursed target, you gain a plus three bonus to damage rolls. Score a critical hit on a roll of 19 or 20. And I regain oh, six man. points if it dies. It's crazy. Oh, my God. So. I'm 35. That's our goal. You're actually 10 feet away, so. Yeah. Uh, you can move up? No, I don't. I, I'm in a, I have my weapons ranged. Uh, could 13. you move up? I could, but it would be 13 to hit? Yeah. 13 doesn't hit. I will attack again. Natural one. Nah. <laughs> if you if you want to move up so I can get sneak attack. I don't want to move up. But that'd be great if you would. Yeah, but I'm not going to. You're so mean. You're so vain. <laughs> okay. Uh, it is now Obsidian's turn. Well, don't get my sneak attack, but I am going to run around to the right side no, 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 of the captain. 25? Actually, go back. Let me use my... my uh, no, I'll do that. Yeah, go to his right side. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use the charge on my dagger. Mm-hmm. So it's coated in poison yes. until I do my first hit. Yep. So fingers crossed. Third, 25. 35. 25 hits. 25. Okay, so that is D4, and he has to do a... Con save? I believe it's con save. Okay. Yep. DC 15. Whoops. Sorry, Molly. Uh, he got a 17. Oh. So then I do seven. Seven? Seven points. Seven points. And then bonus action attack again. Ugh, it's only nine. Nine? Mm-hmm. Or to ten. Hit? Or to hit. Yeah, ten no, to hit. Doesn't hit. Okay. Okay. Uh, anything else? Nope. Okay. It is now... Bugbear turn. Uh, let's see. Turn. So we'll do. Uh, Don't forget that D four. Okay, I won't. I have that Got right that bane. here. Got that bane. Okay. So. You're so bane. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Um, so it's basically the bugbears against half horse round. So yeah. I'm gonna go Fennec first. Okay, that is that doesn't hit. Okay, Bane. Good call, man. Uh, that's a twenty-one. Yeah, that does not hit. Eleven plus four, fifteen. 15 to hit? 15, but what's it subtracted by? So, he originally did 15. Minus uh, 4 is 11, but to hit, he also gets a plus 4. Yeah, it is. So the 4 I removed from the roll. Okay. Bing. So that is... <laughs> Bing! Uh, that is 14 points of uh, slash uh, bludgeoning damage. Halved. Yeah. Because you can take a I, I tried. Don't Sorry. you want it's it? It's okay. I appreciate it. Okay. Now it is Fennec's turn. He is going to just... He's going to end it. Um, is the captain a garbage person? Does he not get to play? The captain? He's at the end. He's behind Fennec. But, you know. I mean, didn't you, you, do you want me to do him now? Uh, let's see here. I'm just wondering. Yeah, no, he just was able to walk up. He, I, I, he was out of range. Uh, You're good. Dab. I'm going to flurry of blows once, so that way I just I'll attack three times first. That way I don't have to keep wasting key if I don't need to. It's cocked. Okay, 
so those two hit, so that's 46s. Or. Yes. Oh, and he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna do it again. That's, uh. Monks are cool. Monks are fun. Okay, and all of those hit. Uh, that is. Dead. <laughs> Dodd, don't you want it? Uh, yes. <laughs> Dead. You just see, poof, 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 and this bugbear is just fucking rocked. Okay, I thought that fight was gonna be longer. Cool. Uh, <laughs> Hobgoblin's turn. He is going to attack. Okay, he's gonna go ahead and who's club? He's gonna attack Absidy. Come at me. <laughs> he has multi attack. No. <laughs> can he dodge? Okay, um You can say no if you want, but I know the answer isn't. Uh thirteen hit? No. Okay. Does a twenty one hit? No. Uh does a twenty seven hit? Ooh, yep. So does the 21, <laughs> if, I'm being, if I'm being honest. I lied about that one. <laughs> oh, no, I lied. Okay. So that is two, three, four. Hey, Zeus Christo. Uh, that's nine, ten. So you take... Um, 9, 10, 83 points of damage. <laughs> 23 points of slashing damage okay. as he just grows down. He oh, hikes down with dodge. the long sword and he upswings. Uncanny dodge, go down to 12. Okay. Uh, and then that is going to end his turn. So now we're back at the top. Shart, you're up. <clears throat> uh, I'm engaged, so I can't really sidestep to get advantage, can I? No. All right. Okay, first attack does a 26 hit. <laughs> yeah, sure does. Okay, uh, pff, fucking twenty points of damage on the first hit. Okay. <laughs> and does a twenty-three hit? Yeah. Man, Scarry was putting up a better fight than this. And fourteen points of damage. Fourteen. Yeah. <laughs> okay, he's hanging on by a fucking thread. Uh, I'll judge by <laughs> it is now. Uh, comics turn. <laughs> uh, Rufio, you're up. <laughs> no what do you do? Way. He rolled a nine. Okay, at least it's not in that one. Uh, he hasn't rolled a that one yet. All right, it's I'm just going lower to, than ten each time. I'm gonna go for two attacks on the hobgoblin again. Okay. Uh, that is a twenty-three. Twenty-three hits. That is also a twenty-three. Wow. Uh, yeah. I'm going to... Well, that's also uh, just saying, because you did Hexblade's Curse, so don't you have advantage on him? No, that's uh, that's my... Oh, sorry, my bad. My bad! Uh, I'm also going to dump two smites. Okay. One on each attack. <laughs> okay. Use some of those T8s I got you. Yeah. No, you're using the gift against me! Ones. Oh, and the two. Oh, oh you what was that? That was a six. Okay. 12. 16. 20. <laughs> 3. Plus my proficiency is a 26. And uh, then okay. 26. Plus 6 is 32. So that's my first attack. Okay, 32. Yeah. And attack number 2. That's just the first one. Is four, eight, twelve, twenty-six. Twenty-six? Uh thirty-two. Another thirty-two? Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, and it is now Absidy's turn. Wow. Unless you would like to do anything else because you've done enough. <laughs> Take a step forward. <laughs> uh, uh, can I do a suck it? I just want to look at sure, like, you can free action suck it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And he's like, I what? <laughs> Don't know what that means. I just felt an impulse. I'm sorry. Oh, great. I didn't... Generation X. <laughs> Absolutely, you're up, bud. Well, I'll attack him again. Go for it. Uh, first and second. First is 27. Second is 18. 18 doesn't hit. 18 doesn't hit? No. Wow. Good thing that was the second one. Wow. Uh, do, 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 yeah, do. because you guys are really not hitting him at all. <laughs> Six. Six points of damage? <laughs> That was so nice. <laughs> Six. Okay. Uh, and that's the end. And of your... you know, you know what? I'm gonna, yeah, what I'm gonna bonus action. What you doing, bud? I'm gonna bone or cunning action, whichever one. Disengage and run around behind the water bear. The bug bear. Water bear. It's a bug bear. It sounds kind of like a water bear. <laughs> it's a water bear. So now you have advantage because I'm a team player. I don't think I'm gonna need it, <laughs> but you have it. You know whose turn it is? It's the water bear's turn. <laughs> Bug bear. Yeah. No. Oh, now you want to go bug bear. <laughs> Y'all a bunch of bitches. Remember the D4? <laughs> Four. Doesn't matter. He critted. Oh, cool. Q. So I'm going to add those up here. He's got to get Well, him. doesn't the... Wouldn't uh, the... Uh, I tried, bro. Wouldn't the Bane... Not with a nat 20, I wouldn't... Even if it was, like, on you guys, like, if I had... You have a disadvantage. If it was a nat 20, I wouldn't make... Okay, you, no, I'm just the, asking. You know, the four away. Uh, so that's 12, 14. I'm not trying to click inspiration. <laughs> uh, you take 18 hits, or 18 points. So nine. Good thing you rage, man, because if that was the absidy, like, you'd be <laughs> jelly right now. Well, I just uncanny dodge. Peanut butter and jelly. Okay. I like peanut butter. Oh, fuck you guys. Uh, okay, so Fennec is 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. You just see him. He just fucking. He's as fast as Absidy. You're what, 50? No, no he's 25. I'm, I'm 25, but oh. 50 with the with the with a bonus action dash. Yeah, he doesn't have to do that. Okay. I was uh, going to say, I'm the fastest with 40. A little faster. Oh, no, sure. Goo. Uh, let me see here. So he's going to go ahead and uh, he is going to pull out. You know what? I'm make him go back a little bit because this is funnier to me. He's going to pull out and he's going to go. He's going to pull out a boomerang. <laughs> and he's like, I got this. Okay. And you see this boomerang, and he's like, hey, fucker. Boom. And just clocks this guy in the head. And it comes back, and he's like, get up closer so I can hit you again. <laughs> okay. Uh, it is the Hopgoblin's turn. He is going to... Yeah, kind of hit him. Multi-attack. That's all sixes. Is that bad? I rolled three D and three sixes. <laughs> Am I going to hell? Uh, but six plus nine is six plus nine. Fifteen. 15. Yeah, they all hit him. Okay. Um, guess the hobgoblin's not too happy. To be fair, I did fuck him up a little bit. Yeah. And then you know. Kind of hit him with a fucking boomerang. You know, as one does. Like a fucking man. Do you feel like a man? When you push her around. I'm surprised you haven't sung that to Irina. Uh, 10. <laughs> um. Okay. Fennec's fine. Uh, a, we are back at the top of the round. Are you not going to have the uh, guy attack? The yeah, the archer. 
on uh, Katak. Completely forgot about him because <laughs> this, just... this doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> it's its own thing. Come at me, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was cat. It wasn't Cadix attack, at least. Yeah, no. <clears throat> I feel like they're just swinging and missing over there. Oh, so. <laughs> it's any arms. I don't want to die. I don't want to die either. <laughs> if we pretend we're fighting each other, no one will know the riser. Good plan. <laughs> ha. Yeah. Okay. Go. It's like Star Wars Episode <laughs> One fights. Yeah. It's. <laughs> go ahead, Shark. Okay, so going after the water bear. Water bear. <clears throat> Bug bear. What'd well, you say? Good thing I'm at advantage because that was a bear. natural one. <laughs> natural one. That is a 15. Uh, 15. Just misses. Okay, well then I'll go with my second attack. That one's a 26. Okay. 26. Nah, it's not true. And 19 points of damage. Okay. Your fist goes through the bugbear, and it touches Absidy's nose, and you go, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Look, I'm touching yeah. you, and you're like, <laughs> Gross. And comes out. Can you imagine if somebody drank that blood? It'd be so weird. <laughs> or put something in it. That's, what? that's specific. <laughs> what? That's crazy. <laughs> Why would that even yeah. occur? You remember Charlie? He was so crazy. <laughs> to come over and just... Kick my dog. That's why I'm in this wheelchair. Um, yeah, that's a hit. Yeah, he fucking kills him. It's great. Woo. About time. He did a thing. It's like, all right, so that's how it's done. <laughs> Rufio, you're up. <laughs> but tame. Fucking took you long enough. Shut up. I'm learning. Uh, so <laughs> you're Bane. so old. <laughs> Bane is dropped now. Yes. Yes, because there's no... So I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark on Hobgoblin. Yeah, because it's going to be a fair fight. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to attack him. I'm going to go to the outside, to the right, within 10 feet. I'm back. Keep... Stay back. Yeah, yeah. I got you. And then uh, I'm just, I'll I attack fingers. dose times. Whoa, that's two. He speaks Janner. Whoa! That's a 17. 17 uh, does not hit. That's fine. That's a natural 20. Natural 20 is fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess I'll that hits. allow it. How many of these die to get doubled? Does Hunter Mar- Hunter's Mark get doubled? On a crit? Yeah. I would think so. Cool, 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 cool. I'm just going to try and get all the die that I can for this. <laughs> what do you need? Uh, I just need another D4. I have a whole bunch right here. Josh just slid me one. Yeah, okay. No, that's cool. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Stylish. I'm not, I'm not mad about it. That's good. You shouldn't be. Um. <laughs> Part for super secret chopper. Let's just dump a smite for fun. So I'm all out of spell slots. Okay, cool. So what happens when I crit on a smite? When you crit on a you double a smite. Oh, cool. I need another D8. You're Why? right. Are you? You're right. You're like I'm just gonna. I'm gonna dip. Why don't you just dump out your entire <laughs> dice bag and just count it? It's a lot. Did he? Did no, he he's did... gonna re-roll all of them because a lot of them are ones and twos. Ones and twos. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They're much better now. Mm-hmm. Okay. So go add everything up. Yeah. Ba, ba, da, ba, ba. 14. I wonder what kind of cheesesteak I'm going to get. 20. <laughs> that was a 6. A Philly. With cheese. 7. And steak. 31. 39. Mm-hmm. Uh, First attack. No, no, no. I'm going to roll both of these. 47. Plus my proficiency. Does that get doubled too? No. No. So, Just, uh, what did I say? 47. 47. Plus uh, 50, and then I get my D4 bludgeoning proficiency also. Yeah, I gotta Five, scale this thing down. Eight, uh, 58. Nah, he's fine. <laughs> Absolutely, you're up. Oh shit. He's, he's not, not dead yet? looking great. He's like, ah! Uh. Well, ah! <laughs> I will jump behind him so that I'm flanking him. Goo! Goo. Uh, gonna go for my attack. 
That is rough. Oh, advantage though. Great. That is a modded 20. 20 hits. Sneak attack. Shut up, Pat. So with that, I no, get... you don't roll now. <laughs> 1, 5, 6. That's 12, 11, plus 5, 16. How do you want to do this? I just want to... I want to poke him. <laughs> it, that's it. I just want to poke him. <laughs> to give you a real quick like, jab. It's very, it's very, <laughs> very anti Snitches get stitches. It's, it's the tiniest little I, poke, and he just falls. I did 11 more points of damage. Right, but I got the kill, so a little poke. No, he still would have been fine. He still would have gotten the function. I was just so you're just going to be like... Yeah, no, just one. Just like a little eh. And he's going to go, what the... All right. <laughs> That's how you do it, Rufio. <laughs> Dead. Shut up, man. <laughs> we get it. You're gross. <laughs> okay. And with that, he is vanquished. Haha, I've asked you, pussy. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Holy shit, they came out of nowhere. You yeah. could heal that whole time? What? <laughs> oh, you're so old. God damn it. You've got to be at least like 40. <laughs> you're not wrong. What? No, I'm not. <laughs> Don't call me shorty. Oh my god. <clears throat> How old is he? Uh, I don't fucking know. He's old as shit. Why did you keep this guy here? He was in the church praying. He's a cleric. I thought he'd be able to help it. If anything, he should have been helpful. He was praying. <clears throat> he wasn't helpful. Uh, he tried. No, I noticed when I came up and you all looked fucked and he was just still swiping at the same fucking goblet. <laughs> I don't think he likes to fight. He doesn't know how to fight. He's got he no knows, death perception. He knows vantage points, and he knows tacticians. He's tactical. Keep him far away <laughs> from battle. <clears throat> yeah, no, great. He'll die. <laughs> He's pretty tanky. <laughs> He'll trip on himself. And he'll, kill. <laughs> he'll stab himself. So, I mean... I carried at least probably close to 20 people into the church to at least try and save some of them. No, you did o you did all right. We're gonna have a lot of fucking build up here, but thanks. Yeah. Well, shit. Uh, let's get fucking ship faced. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Okay. So as I you get down, get back to the bar. It's about six or seven. Um, and anything that you guys are doing with Fennec, any kind of questions you might have, or. This is a good opportunity for a lot of things I might be able to give you. How did this war start? The uh, the current war? Yeah. Well, uh, there is a uh, there's a town pretty far off. Uh, it's called Octero. Uh, there, there was a this massive kind of massacre happened. Man in a silver mask. At least that's what we've been told. He brought he. I don't know what he did, but th there's nothing left of that town at all, and that's where every single grave cleric I think in the uh, in the entire continent lives. They all worship the Raven Queen. I saw in front of the church the skeleton raven. Yeah, with the arms, what the wings? What, what's that all about? Get out of here, stalker. I don't know. It usually isn't a skeleton. It's feathered. It was a skeleton? Mm-hmm. And the, and the wings were in and not out. It's probably not fucking good. They're always out. Isn't that a statue? Yeah. You can see how that's alarming. I'm startled. <laughs> yeah. There's just a lot of evil forces at work. And shit. I feel like I'm even over my head. Maybe we should go back to... Where was it? Barovia. <laughs> might, be, might be a good idea to dug out for a little bit. We have some unfinished business there anyway. I get that. Swig. Not that we even know how to get back. Yeah. Well, I mean... You're welcome to stay here if you like. At least... As long as you want. So you figure out how to get back to... Unfinished business. How long has this war been going on for? 
It started up about the time of the destruction of Octero. That was about seven or eight months ago. This is when it really kind of kicked off. And people have been trying to gather armies. And shit. Chesix is the best army that we know. And even I'm nervous about it. They've never lost a battle. This thing, whatever it is, it is not... It is not of this plane. And the fact that the Raven... That's messed up. That tells me something else bad is going on. I'm not a religious man. By like any means. But that's fucked up. Earlier you mentioned Thema. Where was she at? I have no fucking idea. It'd be really nice if she was here. I'm just checking, you know. Doing her thing. She's either dead, dealing with casualties, or she, I don't know, she probably fucked off to the mountain. Haven't seen her since this morning. Is there a lot of stuff at the mountain? There's a silver dragon. Why isn't he helping? Well, that's pretty far out. Dragons, they get kind of fickle. We have a dragon here. His name's Tari. Not really much of a fighter. He's a... Uh, what is it? More of a music man. A showman. And he went away on holiday. Especially after the that previous group brought something into his house. He was super crossed about it. He left. He lives there. And he points to where the, um, the dragon fireplace is. The dragon head fireplace. He lives behind that. And he's not here. It's been two months. Two months? How long was he supposed to be gone for? He just said he was leaving on an extended holiday. Didn't give me an idea of when he was coming back. Huh. I wonder what's in there. I bet uh, we could find If you've out. ever been inside, it's a shit ton of fucking chairs. Chairs? <laughs> yeah, chairs. He collects chairs? I think so. I've never seen him actually bring a chair in, but chairs. There's only one way in, and he knows how to open it. Trust me, I've tried. Where is it? Where's, Where's the entrance? And he points back at the fireplace that has this giant hearth in it. Past the fire. <laughs> you can try if you want. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. You're going to try to open the door? How are yeah. you going to do it? Well, I'm super strong. Are you so. going past the fire? Because it's behind the fire, apparently. How deep is the fire? It's... Like, can I can I see? Do I know, like, what I'm getting into? No. No? No. Uh, I walk up and I take a ball bearing. Mm -hmm. And I throw it through just to get an idea of what's going okay. on. Okay. Go ahead and roll a... Roll an attack. An attack? Yeah, like a range attack. Use uh, dex. Dex. 16. 16. You. And it's about like two feet before you hear pink. Oh, that's gonna. That's too much fire. Nope, I'm out, guys. <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm out. I was kind of half expecting him to do it. I thought that would be funny. <laughs> if. <clears throat> yeah. he He's still tempted. The night is young. I yeah. am. Douse me in water. <laughs> All right, fuck it. All right. And he gets up and he has this giant barrel and... I'm oh, no, I was kidding. Don't do it. Ah. I'm going to roll for bludgeon because it's a lot of water. <laughs> <laughs> you take two points of bludgeoning damage as oh. you're knocked to the ground. <laughs> Never mind. That hurt. And uh, Fennec kind of looks at you too. He goes, would you mind if I spoke to him in our native tongue? Not much that we get works around here. Uh... No. Go for it. I don't want to be rude. Talk about yourselves. I'm going to put the helmet on when I turn like an absidy. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, so how bad is the unfinished business? It's rough. It's real rough. There's, uh, there's not a lot of us here. It's so cool. It'd be nice. What we're talking about right now. <laughs> <laughs> be nice to have a brother around. I understand that. I do. Mm. But the unfinished, bro the unfinished blood, uh, 
unfinished business it involves my blood. I get that. You come back. You got a little bit of lying in you. You want to come back and go through the trials? I can help with that. Oh. Not that I'm a lion, but... Hey, fingers crossed. Things work out for me. I'm gonna have a companion with me, so as long as you don't mind me, uh... Bringing a beast to help out. Oh, no, we got pets. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's a dire wolf. You've seen a rock? Hmm? Have you seen a rock before? Yeah. No, not like a like stone. I mean, like an animal. The the beast, a rock. No. Makes the dire wolf look like a puppy. All right. Sorry about that. It was just a uh, it was a a bemusing that I had. I hope you don't think ill of me. I want a game of rock paper scissors. What? Sorry, stone shears and parchment. Oh, got it. Um. So, Absy, as this interaction is coming, is getting closer to eight. Or ten. Oh, that's right. Uh, I gotta go talk to that guy. What okay. guy? Okay. I remember I put out that thieves can't in case we needed more information, but then we kind of figured it all out, so now I'm just, uh, just gonna go talk to him, I guess. What's thieves can't? It's like, uh, it's my way to talk to, to other sneaky little fucks like me. So I, I have no idea what to tell him. What should I ask? How the fuck we get back to Barovia? I hope he knows that. Doesn't seem like a thieves kind of thing, but <laughs> it's worth a shot. Okay. All so right. uh, see you guys. You deuce out. Uh, so you head to the amphitheater, and as you go through, there's like villagers kind of like moving debris and trying to clear space out. The amphitheater seems to be empty except for the few blood splotches that are there. And there. Uh, go ahead and roll perception for me. <clears throat> 17. It's pretty high. Okay. That didn't do too bad. So, as you're there, you're kind of looking around. It's dark. And behind you, you feel a tap on your shoulder. And you spin around, and you see two hoods. One that's like eye to eye with you and one that is just a towering mass of a person with a very tiny hood so it covers their head and then the hood goes around their shoulders it looks like it's made for someone your sized but that's what they're wearing <laughs> and they're also covered in scars and different kind of battle wounds and uh, a kind of like tight pants kind of thing and he goes <laughs> the little one goes yeah you're cold am I cold no, you cult. Oh, I called. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, originally I wanted some information about the goblins that were going to attack, but then they attacked. So, how are you? <laughs> what the f- And he pulls back and it's a halfling. He has these big kind of like mutton chops. He has this scar over his head. And he goes, really? We, we, you put the cant out. I have to get this fucking guy for you to just say, oh, I had a question. Nah, dog, don't have a question. Well, it's not my fault that the goblins attack. <laughs> the big one goes, Wait, there were goblins here? Yes, yes. Uh, if you weren't out trying to get honey, you big giant fucking bear, we could have been here. Honey sweet. That voice sounds familiar. Where do, I, do I know you? And... <laughs> like there's any introduction. <laughs> he pulls down his hood, and it's of a goliath. Head shaved, he has different tattoos that run along the sides of his head, and he kind of looks at you inquisitively, and then he crouches down, and he puts his face up to you, and then he grabs you by the back of the hood, and he lifts you up, uh -huh. like this is giving him a better like view, and he goes, maybe, <laughs> and he slowly, <laughs> can you, <clears throat> can you say sorry? Uh, yes. Will you please say sorry? Say, and he oops, looks, sorry. And he looks over at the tiny one and he goes, Oops, sorry. Did did you knock us out? What? Me and my friends were in a tower and then we just went to sleep and I heard in the distance someone go, Hold on. Oops, sorry. And they kind of sounds like Still you. Still good. <laughs> uh, the other guy, the other halfling looks at him. He's like, Were you in a tower before? 
Rocky don't know. Uh... When was this? Earlier today? No. Me fighting bear earlier today. You, you fought a bear? Yeah. Why did he call you bear? Because bear had honey and I wanted it. So now you're the bear? No, I beat up the bear. So why did he call you bear? No, I called him a stupid bear because look at him. Oh, because he's so big like a bear. Oh, yes, and dumb like one. He's, yeah, I get that. Cool it. <laughs> I can call him dumb. I'm sorry, I overset my boundaries. Yes. So, we don't know how to get back. back we to just where? Barovia. Oh, fuck. Why do you want to go back to Barovia? You've been to Barovia? Oh, we did, we, we've been there for months. And now we have some unfinished business that we need to attend to. Ooh. Let me... And he just sits on one of the, the mausoleum steps and he goes, So you escaped Barovia magically. No one escapes from Barovia unless you're like Vasani. Ow. And now you just... You want to go back. What? Did you leave your favorite pair of socks? Uh, it's a little disrespectful to call her socks, but... Oh, it, there's a... Fuck, there's a her. And Rocky goes, uh And he sits next to the other halfling. Okay, so you have to go back for what? Your girlfriend? Oh, we, we haven't had that conversation. <laughs> but I like to think so. <laughs> mm, that's... Listen, no claim's worth it. You don't need to go back to Barovia. We do have to go back. It's not just for me. The others, other members of my party have business. Ow, bit my tongue. Business. <laughs> they also have things they have to take care of. <laughs> my family's, my, my friend's family was was killed by a werewolf who's in Barovia. And another friend, his brother's being contained. Like, no, no, like, no offense, halfling the halfling, man. Fuck them? We're thieves, man. There's a whole guild. I, 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 I don't recognize you. Are you... What what region are you from? You're on, like, some other continent. Uh, I'm from a away. small seaside yes, town. Uh, I rolled a stealth. Oh, he went left. to go. And I wanted to follow him and okay. cast Mask of Many Faces. Okay. So what do you mask yourself as? Uh, just a, a, an old woman, an old town. Hello! <laughs> okay. What did you roll? A natural 20. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, let's see if uh, any of them pick up on it. I doubt it. Well, Rocky's at disadvantage. <laughs> he's, do he's doing his best. He's really trying hard. Okay. Makes so, me do I roll four, too? I would say you can have uh, a perception for it. <clears throat> 12. And you got a nat 20? Mm. Okay. So... It's as is. So as you go to the outskirts, you see this fucking hulking mass of just muscles built on muscles and this little tiny cape <laughs> sitting next to someone absolutely sized. Long hair, scar, mutton chops, another halfling. Looks to be another kind of rogue. Fuck him. Look, I can't. I won't do that. Maybe if. Well, I'm if not saying like literally, but like come back to the Thieves Guild. There was so much shit brewing here, man. It could be very lucrative. You like money, right? You like not, you know, you don't look like you're in the best of wealth right now. No offense. None taken. I've learned that there's more than just money. And that more is waiting for me in Barovia. It's not just love, and it's it's mostly revenge. It's revenge. Yeah. It's revenge. Is that right? It's revenge. All right. Revenge. I'm going to cast a divine sense. Okay. I assume I'm far enough away. I just want to see if you I You want to try undead <clears throat> uh, celestial? It's undead, celestial, and fiend. You're not getting any vibes from him? No. No. Nope. Okay. Look, man, you, you're not going to convince me not to go, but if you know a way to get back, I'd be very grateful. And after we've completed our mission. Mm -hmm. Maybe I come back. Rejoin the Thieves Guild. Yeah. Hopefully there's still a plane to come back when you leave. What do you mean? All the shit? Do you hear about all the fucking rumors that it's gonna be the end of the fucking material plane? I heard there was a war, but I just assumed they were blowing it out of proportion. You oh. Know, as the large ones tend to do. 
that's fair. And Rocky goes, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I love you, Rocky. <laughs> um, he, he, uh, this halfling looks at you and he goes, yeah, man, it's, it's sounding brutal. I mean, gods falling, demons rising, people trying to bring the end of the planes. I mean, I like money, but if there's no plane. But there's no money. Hell, if it's going to be my last, like, what, year, five years, decade, I'm going to live it large. Best I can. So, you come back. Where are we heading back to? What, Cholt? And Rocky kind of looks down and goes, Yeah, I think Cholt back. Do more dinosaur racing. And uh, he looks, You go to Cholt? It's by the equator. Very middle of the, the continent. Very hot. Jungle everywhere. You put that sign up. You look for scroll. Scroll? Scroll. Absidy. Hand out. As far as getting you back, um, honestly, I don't know. I haven't, you know, wanted to go back in Barovia. I feel like Barovia chooses you. Mm -hmm. But you've been? Uh, it's, I get out of a lot of things. Been to the Underdog once. Saw Demogorgon once. No, I want to that do it again. That does not sound great. Oh, it was terrible. Went to the jungle. Saw a Lich once. No, I'm good. Oh, the stories you could tell. Oh, the stories I can tell. How'd you get here? Some tower. There was a tower with a uh, with a symbol on it. A shield with a vertical sword on fire. We walked in the tower and, and we all just fell asleep. That's when I heard, maybe, Rocky, I don't know, mm -hmm. say sorry. We woke up in the field <laughs> and we've been here for the past day. Um... Could you describe the tower? Uh, really tall. Mm. Many, many. He's me. like looking past your head. Uh, it was a dark black stone mm. of some kind. Okay. Uh, I moved around. My my friend said it was there, and it wasn't, and I thought he was a liar. But then we went to where it was, and then it showed up. But I didn't see it at first. Mm. But my eyes are pretty good. No, I believe that. Um, because that wasn't there before. And as you turn around, you see in the... Uh, where the moon is, you see piercing, it seems like, the, the silhouette of the moon. You see the top of the tower. Oh, yep, that's it. That's the one. So I think you found your ticket home. Well, Barovia. I think you're right. Yeah? Well. Till next time, Absidy. Come on, Rocky. Thanks, Scroll. You see him pick up this halfling, puts him on his shoulder, they hood up, and they stealthily they ride out. Yeah. <laughs> he rides Rocky out. Okay. Uh, Scroll rides out. Uh, and you see uh, as, as Scroll just kind of jumps off and he goes into the dark. You hear Rocky go, sorry. <laughs> and you see more debris just go, Geek! sorry. As, yeah, that was uh, definitely him. Absidy comes back. Mm -hmm. I'll just be there and just be begging for Chains. Suck a dick for a quarter. <laughs> I will not do that. No, two quarters. No, 20 gold pieces gold. is 20 gold pieces. You literally said that an episode ago. <laughs> I did. Okay. So just, yeah, I'm just, just a beggar, old woman. Just, uh, can you spare some coin? Yeah. Here you go. I take a, a gold piece. Mm -hmm. just use it wisely. Of, of course. Don't do drugs. <laughs> Can't wait to do drugs with this. <laughs> I just <laughs> make them good drugs. Uh, Yippee! Say no to drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in school. I'm 94. <laughs> do I do I get any sort of like vibe that that's not an old lady? Not really. Okay. Unless you're really looking for it, you're like, I don't believe you're old. <laughs> <laughs> Are you young? You're so young. Dab in spirit. my dudes. <laughs> uh, that sounds like a 14 year old. Then so, yeah, I, I give the money and I just kind of. Walk heading off, to, heading back. Yeah, heading back to tell them. About I'll wait till he's out of eye shot, and I'll go into. Uh, have we seen like guards around the area or anything like that? No. Okay, then I'll. Uh, I will recast as. 
Um, I'll just be a uh, just a little like common halfling. Okay. As I, you know, getting close until I get closer to town, and then I'll just reveal again. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Pitter patter, pitter patter. Pitter patter, pitter patter. He's like, so this is what it's like. <laughs> so this is terrible. <clears throat> I'm assuming we're getting back into the bar while you're doing that. Yeah, so while you two are, what do you want to be doing, Fennec? Uh, me and Fennec, I think, honestly, we're going to be... Uh, Wrestling? <laughs> naked? <laughs> uh, roll for suplex. <laughs> he, uh, no, I, I was honestly just going to... Me and him are probably going to be shooting this shit. Okay. I'll tell him the story of uh, everything that's going on. I'll tell him uh, the love story between these two and Irina. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I, I like to yeah, make sure everyone's got a good feel. Boast. But... <clears throat> Explain to him, you know, why I got to go back a yeah. little bit further now that since everyone's gone. And yeah. <clears throat> that way he knows, you know, of course. where my allegiance is right now. No, I get that. I just, you know, war's coming and you're fucking tough. Hey, I appreciate it. Tough as nails, too. Well, I have a lot of practice. It's a lot of just making them go to sleep. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't like getting hit much. I'm pretty, I'm pretty squishy, but I make <laughs> sure someone's fucking down. Hey, like I said, I get my brother, and we get out of there. Might step back by. I like it. I'll be here. That thing didn't kill me up in the by the cave, so we're good. Oh shit! Yeah, I'll be here. <clears throat> yeah, well, because uh, we decided to save time and just climb down the mountain rather than go around to the walkway. So. I mean, do you want to ride up? Well, when we leave, yeah, how do we ride up? Going up the mountain. You know that thing I told you about, the bird? Yeah. How are you feeling with big, giant animals? Huh? How you feel about big, giant animals? I mean, I'm pretty familiar with them. <laughs> All right. So as uh, you come back in Absey, you notice that it's just Fennec and uh, Shark talking, and then how long behind are you? Oh, uh, no like kadok. five, ten minutes. No. <laughs> Uh, and then about anything that you want to say for the next ten minutes. Where's Rufio? Uh, didn't go to the bathroom or something? I don't know. Oh, I thought you yeah. guys were, like, jerking each other off in the alleyway or something. You both had a big, important date. He told me you guys are gay together. Uh, Not that well, there's anything wrong with that. No, we just, it's mutual completion, but <laughs> we don't it? touch. You don't. Yeah. You just kind of. I've got at a each girlfriend, other. so. Oh, so oh, he's one of those. Just love yourself, man. Oh my god, thank you. You matter. <laughs> I, I know you're be, you're being sarcastic and it's hurtful, but love yourself. You deserve to. Thank you. Mm. Go. Go. Well. Shit. And about like ten minutes later. That was the biggest drinking. dump I've ever taken in my entire life. Why'd you go through the front door? I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't do it in here. I didn't. I, I needed to hide my shame. Where'd there. you do it? Publix. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much debris, man. Come on. You're it's a paladin. Hot. You'll never find it. Just let us know where it is so we don't step on it. Okay. So the third goblin corpse in on the right. Don't look underneath that. Oh, you shit on the corpse. Yeah. Yeah, and fuck those goblins. It. And then I flipped it. Oh, that's good. Like a burger. Yeah. <laughs> like a hamburger. <laughs> like a mattress. <laughs> uh, Do we pick up on that at all that, um, he's, that he's lying? I mean, you can roll insight and you can roll deception. Thirteen. Six. Uh, deception. Eleven. So you can tell he's lying. No, he can't. No. Yeah. Yo, I you can. did. I'm sorry. And then it's, I said insight. Mm -hmm. And Fennec looks, at, you both, like, the half orcs just kind of stare you up and down. Yeah? Some dump, huh? It's a big dump. Huge, huh? Big dump. I'd like to see that. Why don't you bring me over to that? I think big dumps are funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused by you. I'm ready to laugh. <laughs> What about you, you, Sean? Didn't you hear that I was trying to hide my shame? Nothing shameful about that. You gotta be proud, brother. No, it was shameful. Oh, it was wet. I want to see that shame. <laughs> Let's go for a walk. Yeah. And Fennec starts getting up. Where, oh. were you, where were you, Rufio? It's taking a dump. 
No, we've been together long enough that I know you weren't taking a dump. You know, you shouldn't try to act super tough near your, big, your, your new friend. Look, if Rufio said he was taking a dump, he's taking a dump. I think we've been together long enough that we can trust each other. I agree with that. All right, fine. But Bunch by the way, liars, <laughs> for Mike. that tower's back. Wait, what? Yeah. Uh, when I was talking to my friend, he pointed that way, and it's right outside. Come on. Like, is it up did, the mountain, or is it... Do you have anything else to say? Is there anything of note? Uh, he, he told me the severity of your situation, or I guess all of ours, the material plane, and... Well, we're not on the material plane if we go back, so... We have, I mean, we're going back. We're killing Strahd. But... Strahd's a zombie. Vampire thing. Oh, yeah. I mean, take care of it. I guess. I know. No, I told you, he's the one that's got my brother. Nah, got it. We gotta do what we gotta do. But after, we'll be back. We'll be here. I've got some business now in Chutney. Cholt. Cholt. Chutney. I have some business in Cholt now, and I think we'll come back. But we made our commitments. Mm. Yeah, I respect that. He's got a girlfriend. That's what I've heard. His words, not mine. You like to be the girlfriend. I get it. And he gets up, and he starts opening the door. I like to be Little Spoon. <laughs> Call it jetpacking. Uh, as you guys go out one by one, he puts his hand gently on your shoulder, Rufio, and he goes, I know that you're leaving, but once again, not a holy man, but if something's going on with the Raven Queen and I saw the marking on the other side of your armor, you should probably pray for her, to her before you leave. Yeah, I, I tried to pray earlier, and I didn't get anything. It was weird. There's a temple. We're at the church. Temple of Bahamut. I think I'm going to do that. I appreciate it. I'll round up the rocks. <laughs> and he hits you on the back of the back, on your back, and you're like, ow. Solid. Okay, cool. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just drop down uh, ten gold pieces for him for the drinks. Ah. Uh. No thanks necessary. Hey, no, I appreciate it. You just you, you helped us out too, so at least it's a little something to try and help out the area. You know. How about this? I'll consider this an application fee. Put some pockets in. You get a you get a job. Something like that. It's kind of. Finally, lazy piece of shit. <laughs> Okay. I'm from the woods. <laughs> okay, this is my first job. Burger flipper. Uh, so it's it's pretty quiet. As you guys round up with Fennec, um, you start going to the temple, and you hear more of this, you know, uh, carnage, the, the cleanup. You step up to the temple, and it seems to be empty. Pews are lit from the, uh, the moonlight that's coming through the stained glass. And the doors closed, but you close the doors behind you. I'm the only one in there. You're the only one in there. Is there uh, a tray, an, an offerings tray? Uh, there's one to Bahamut, yes. Okay. I'll put a gold piece in for Bahamut. Mm. And uh, do I see where Raven Queen stuff is? It was, it was outside, but you can use the pews to kind of okay. you know, crouch and... Uh, Just, you know, I stealthed into the church after he already went. Did you? And I rolled a modded 20. Okay. So I just want to... Go ahead and roll, see if you can beat it. Uh, What am I doing? You're going to see if uh, you notice Shart in the uh, temple. Uh, It would probably be a disadvantage as well. Yep, because you're not focused. I'm not focused on it. What am I rolling? Perception? Yep. 15. 6. Okay. You going (coughs) to where the corner? Are you going with him? I assume that... Because you see Shart leaving. Yeah, I guess. I mean, he he didn't tell me about it, but yeah, I'd probably follow. Okay. If you want to go ahead and roll a stealth as well. Uh, 30? <laughs> so yeah. natural 20 plus 10? <laughs> Thanks, Josh. You're in there. The one time I finally do something good. <laughs> okay. So you guys kind of just go to the corner and you're like... Why are we in here? Just want to know what's going on. That's all. Probably taking another dump. <laughs> it's it's dump. Pews. <laughs> I roll a natural 20 behind them. It was a big dump. <laughs> it's a big stinky poopy. 
Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just get down in the pew, and uh, I'll really try and focus mm -hmm. and and try and make contact with the Raven Queen. Okay. And as you focus and as you center, you're watching Rufio, and you see this kind of dim, radiant light just kind of wash over him. Uh, I need all three of you to make wisdom saves. Saves, you said? Yep. I rolled an eight. A uh, 15. 11. Okay. So as you're watching Rufio, you see this radiant light just kind of wash, and it just slowly washes over all of you. And your eyes get a little hazy as you refocus. And you are not in Locke anymore. You're not even in Barovia. The sky is black. All the clouds are jet black. And there's this just a big stone walkway leading up to this giant massive fortress that looks to be worn, and you see smoke coming off of it. And all three of you are next to each other. Shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? I could pray. Where are we? What I what I know from the Raven Queen, like about you what I have an idea. Roll a history. <clears throat> Plus three? Where did that happen? <clears throat> Five. You are not sure. Okay. This doesn't look like something you've been to before. Uh, do I do I recognize anything? You see marks of the Raven Queen all over these these uh, stone doors. Uh, I feel like I'm safe moving forward, but I don't know if you guys feel that way. If you don't, I would hesitate to go in. No, I'm good. I don't know where we are or why we're here. I don't know, but those are the markings of the Raven Queen, and I am. She's my patron, so I don't think if I go into a place of worship for her, I'm going to come into harm. But she's the goddess of death, so just something well, to... clearly she brought us here. So if we're here, we might as well go in. I'm going in. Okay, going in alone or all three of you? If they want to follow, they can. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. So it's a long walk to this massive stone doors that as you push open, uh, I'm going to have all three of you roll strength checks for it. See if you can all push together. Three. Three. Natural, no, four. Natural one. It is just a stone fucking slab of marble. All right. Uh, push my sleeves up. Your metal sleeves. This is my girl. No, I haven't been wearing my armor the whole time. Nope. And I'm going to help him. Okay. So... Me too. Eight. Fifteen. Twenty-three. Fifteen. So with the combined effort of all of you, you're able to do a sharp-sized sliver into the door. That was, that was mostly me. Gosh. <laughs> okay, Peppy. <laughs> okay. I'll walk in. I'll Just, walk in first. Okay. You guys slip in, and it's this giant throne room, and it looks like it's just been mangled and distorted. And as you look around in the darkness, you just see glowing red eyes everywhere. I'm going to take out my scythe. I'm going to open it and just okay. kind of wait. As you look, you see at the end of the uh, this grand throne room, sitting on a throne, huge red horns sitting fire in between the two horns, kind of like conducting looks over can we help you sure what are you doing here uh nothing I went to pray to the raven queen and here we are <laughs> little fruitless, isn't it? Praying to her. Why would you say that? Uh, where have you been? Barovia. <laughs> and Locke. Barovia. Yeah. Yeah. Death's handiwork. 
<clears throat> there is no Raven Queen here anymore, boy. Where is she? Dead. This is her throne. And who killed her? Death. She's the goddess of death. Mm. You need to read up on history. Who are you? Someone a lot more powerful. I'll have my time in the sun. But for now, I think ruling Shadowfell for a little bit while he's away is quaint. Is that where we are? In the Shadowfell? Mm, where all souls go. Uh, has anything happened to my weapon? You haven't done anything with it yet? I mean, like, I have it. Like, it, it hasn't, like, disappeared or... Hasn't disappeared, no. How do we get out of here? Go back where you came. Go outside. You have a, a name? I don't give my name. Well, it's not very smart. Names are very powerful. I'll just put down in my ledger mm -hmm. the guy with shitty red horns <laughs> that I'm going to come back and kick the shit out of. Okay. I'll, I'll be back, don't worry. Yeah, that's what they all say. The Revenant, the Cleric. I'll be here. Can't did, wait. Did you bring us here? I brought you nowhere. <laughs> Then why are we here? The fuck do I know? Enough to rule the shadow fell. I didn't bring you here. I have no need for children, behemoths, and brats. I mean, at least I got kind of a compliment. <laughs> and as you say that, the eyes start laughing. The joke that you made. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Not the time chart. Yeah, I'm sorry. Wait. Wait. Starts getting up. You smell familiar. I'm gonna push Absidy to the side and stand in front of him. He's slow. He's he, he's not like bum rushing, and he goes. No, but I want to be in between him and Absidy. He looks over at you, and he looks back at you, and he smiles, and he goes, "Oh, oh." He doesn't know, does he? He doesn't know what. Oh, you're being coy. And I I step to the side, mm -hmm. so that Rufio's not in front of me anymore. You're not going to accomplish the task, you know that. We beat them once, and we'll beat him again. Things change. Who's we? All the other devils. What's your name? I don't give my name. Well, can you, like, put it on the house or something? Cause... <laughs> what, like Darkles? <laughs> Names are very powerful. A demon. Devil gives you his name. Gives you power. Except for that one. Weird. What are you talking about? Know? Backtracks, and he sits back down. And those eyes kind of laugh again. What are you talking about? Weren't you leaving? Yeah. We don't need this fool anymore. This pretender. Mm. You've been in his presence. Enjoy ruling the Shadowfell while you can. I think I will. Your horns are dumb. <laughs> Your legs yeah. are dumb. 
and short. It all went to my penis. <laughs> we both know that's not true. <laughs> well, see you later, no name. I got, I got a freak cock, too. <laughs> and the three of you very confusedly walk out. And Rufio, as the door slowly closes behind you, you look up to the highest tower. And very briefly, you see a raven jump off and fly off. Doing so, you, the three of you blink and you're back in the Temple of Bahamut. The smell of sulfur filling all of your nostrils and your nasal cavities. We gotta talk to Fennec. What's Fennec gonna do? <clears throat> he might know something about who the fuck that was. Maybe that's the guy that destroyed the Citadel. Said it was a demon. Maybe, but... Why would he be in charge of the Shadowfell? That doesn't make sense. He said he knows that if something's wrong with the offering plate to the raven, then something's really, really bad. If that guy claims that the Raven Queen is dead, we gotta let somebody know. Well, he said he was sitting on the throne while someone else was away. Right? Remember that correctly? So I don't think he's even who we're really... After. after yeah what did he mean when he said you'd been in the presence of him I don't know who have you been in the presence of you shark dirt those two thieves you've been everywhere I've been can't figure it out Let's go talk to Fennec. See if he knows anything, and, and if that tower's still there, get back to Barovia. I'm going to hang back mm -hmm. and uh, just stare at the offering plate of the Raven Queen. Mm. And I'm going to slide a gold piece in it and see what happens while they when they walk away. <clears throat> As you do. And I want to get some distance. Okay. Um, Shart, what are you doing? As you get distance? Just to... No, with him. Okay. A distance with him. Okay. What do you mean? You and me need to get a little bit away from yeah. Rufio. No, as soon as you guys, uh, you yeah, guys are walking walk away, away, and I'm yeah. gonna stay put, and I'm gonna put stuff in the offering plate. So, please. as you do, uh, make another wisdom save for me. Uh, sixteen. Okay, sixteen. As you do. Uh. Coming around the corner, you see from your peripheral is uh, your father. However, his eyes are burning red and orange. And he goes, I'm sorry, kid. I didn't want to appear like this, but things are still wonky. Who is this? Yeah, look at your fucking arm. Your shoulder, idiot. Got it. <laughs> ben. Time's not working the same way as it does in Barovia. I hear you're going back. Yeah. I thought this was done. We still have unfinished business. <sighs> Fuck. You already finished everything. No. Stroud's still there. Kid, you were in Barovia for a really long fucking time. Yeah, we were there for like four months. I was there when you left. I watched you guys leave. Not in a tower or anything. That's how we left. We're... What do you mean? No, when you beat Strahd. We didn't beat Strahd. Kid. Oh, shit. Keep forgetting. The time's different in Barovia. You guys are, haven't been gone long from this plane, but... Shit's been happening. What do we have to do? Take care of Strahd. That's your main concern. You need to be stronger than you are now. If you, you aren't where you're supposed to be, you're no good here. You gotta get stronger. No. I'm not gonna have any fucking idea what you're talking about when you get back. What, where's the Raven Queen? What's going on? 
She got pushed out. Pushed out? How do you push out a god? You you become stronger than a fucking god. This is a what happened scene. in there? Where in the in the church? Yeah, there was a dude with horns and fire. You went to the shadow fell. Yeah. How the fuck? That's good. I just started. No, praying. no, no, no. That's good. You were praying to her. Yeah. That means she's still fucking alive. None of us have been able to see her. If she was able to get you to the Shadowfell to show you what's happening, that's not bad. At least, I'm, we're in a lot better position as far as she goes than I thought we were. What What can I do? You beat Strahd. You get stronger. You come back, we train fucking hard. All right, kid. We'll be here. You better be. We'll be back as soon as we can. Doing my best. But that kind of dissipates. So, as you get back to Fennec. Oh, well. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> so, in his presence, huh? I mean, that's what he said, yeah. I know what you've been doing. I know you've been reading that book. I'm not going to tell you what to do with anything. Just, we good? I don't know what you're talking about, but yes, we're fine. No, 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 like I'm, this isn't me bullshitting you. I saw you reading the book. Yeah, I read a book. Oh well, no. I know how to read. See, the things are changing, and that's fine. That's cool. I'm just making sure that you and I are good. Yes, we're fine. Okay. And if you ever want to talk, you know, like, shit, right. shit. <laughs> I start walking get a beer later. faster. Pitter, patter, pitter, patter. And then I just take longer strides. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, man. Still faster. I just move to the left. I'm just further away. <laughs> All right, cool. Come on. Do I see this happening? <laughs> I think during this interaction, you're having the interaction okay. with War. It's just, just going like this. <laughs> Hanging a hot left. Fuck? So it takes you guys a few. I'm not sure. Meta. Yes. You said that when I saw him reading it, did I end up seeing anything off of him? Mm -mm. Okay, I'm just checking. I mean, I was just reading. Well, no, because I, I, I don't remember if I ended up seeing anything like, like an aura or anything. Or anything emitting off of you because that was before it had happened so that's why I was just me meta checking out because I don't remember mm -hmm. okay no we're good <clears throat> okay uh, as you get to Fennec uh, he goes alright well this is my best rock and you look up and there's just this monstrous fucking eagle that looks at you and it's looking down very ornery uh, aggressive I heard one time someone rode the back of this, killed a whole bunch of school children. <laughs> Be super careful with it. Who's good at animals? Wolf guy. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm pretty all right. You good at it, Sean? Anyone better than Sean? <clears throat> you guys don't have more than a plus one, right? I have a plus one. What animal handling? Yeah, animal handling. I got a plus one. Okay. And you have a plus one. Yeah. You can you can talk. He's to gonna one, give you so. the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. So, I think the three of you should be able to, if you scrunch up real close, boyfriends, you'll be able to. Get up there and they'll come back. So don't even worry about how they're going to get back to me. Oh, okay. All right. This is so. weird. Before we go, do we want to ask him? him? <clears throat> Got a question for you. Shoot. So uh, Rufio here was praying to the Raven Queen before we left. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. We ended up seeing some stuff. Doesn't right. seem like it's good stuff. Do you know uh, a demon all red with big red horns, flames in between them? Not personally. Do you know who he is? You're describing a lot of fucking devils, dude. Uh, the only reason I say is he specifically said he wouldn't give us his name because that takes away his power. Yeah, you don't. If you're a devil, they don't do that. 
Also, you don't speak a devil's name because then they can fucking find you. He was doing you a fucking favor. Okay. The minute you say someone's name, they know exactly where you are. They know what you're doing. It's like scrying. It's like what wizards fucking do, but worse. Well, he was sitting on the throne of the Raven Queen. Is there a devil whose name... Is there a devil that does give you his name? Kid, I'm not a cleric or a paladin. I don't fucking know. It was just something that he said. It was weird. I don't... I'm just trying to piece this together. Sorry. No, I got... No, you're fine. I just wish I could help a little bit more. You guys helped me a lot tonight. Don't have anything fun for us? <laughs> yeah, it's the rock. Make sure it doesn't kill anything. That's fun as shit. Why do you call that a rock? That's what they are. Is that a bird? R-O-C, rock. Oh. It's a bird rock. Come on, man. It's a bird. Now I know that's definitely what you're not handling it. Take care of the shark. Yeah. And he says, uh, he gives you like an orc kind of like farewell. Handshake. Handshake. Forearm handshake. Yeah. And he goes, when you're ready, you'll have a home here. As long as you got a big old kennel for my boy, we're good. We got a sand pit. It works. <laughs> All right. Normal normies, I guess. I don't know what they. What do you call them? Family. Roof. Friends. I put Friend. my hand as high up toward his shoulder as I can. So, okay, you, so you're, you're touching, touching his, his waist. <laughs> <laughs> touching his like yeah, you're touching like his waist, and he goes, "No, I don't want. I don't have money for that. <laughs> I don't want sexual favors, child. No, I'm just kidding. He just goes, I'm good. You know. Yeah. It's gonna be roughly in these two. I don't know how you fucking do it. Hey, what? I'm sorry. I didn't quite hear what you said. I'll see you later. And he looks over at the the rock, and he pulls its head down by the saddle, and he goes, You be good! You don't give him trouble! Or this is bad. No mice. <laughs> and you see the birds just like, Okay. Cast speak to animals. Sure. Gun. Just, we don't have a long trip. We're good? Yeah, we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Does he think you're the leader? Is that a thing? I mean... The Rock? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> Fennec. Honestly, the way that half-orcs operate is... Who's the strongest? So, yeah. Definitely not the strongest. <laughs> okay. Bench press this. You can't <laughs> smite it. <laughs> so you all three get on. Uh, roll animal hand. I already rolled a 14. Okay, uh, you it's swerve. Bumpy. You swerve a little bit, and he gets mildly distracted. But it takes a good bit, and you're back at the at the tower. All right, animal. Uh, speaking animal. All right, Rock. Appreciate you. Uh, I'm gonna go try to eat something now. <laughs> Dude, go for it. I think I saw something small with something really big. He said no mice. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I hope someone picked up on that. Huh? Um, I got it. Cool. <laughs> Uh, so you go inside the, the massive column tower and inside is all the symbols to Tempest. Um, go ahead and make wisdom saves at advantage. Wisdoms? Wisdom saving throws at advantage because you're expecting it this time. Oh. What'd you get? Well, I rolled a natural one and a five. Okay. 18. Okay. It was a 19, and it bounced over to a 3. At advantage? Yeah. So I'm at an 8. Okay. <laughs> um, you see these two get woozy, and they drop. And you hear the... Behind you, you go... Oh, shit. And you turn around. And there is, funny enough, another half-orc. He's in full plate mail. He has part of his right ear missing. Very short, cropped haircut. Uh, scars all along his arms of what you can see. And he goes, oh, sorry about that. Always try to cushion, but then I just forget. So you're the one who brought us here? Oh, yeah. Kitra. Absidy. Big, giant fucking hand just goes over your uh, arm. This guy's about 6'8". He's 286 pounds just of just muscle on top of muscle. 
And what, he, what, what was the name again? Ketra. Sorry about that. But, but you brought us here? Yeah, it was a test. A test? Yeah. For what? For the war that's coming up. Who? Who's giving the... You're giving the test? No, I don't give the test. Who? who Tempest! Gave... You look at the... He's all around here. Huh. Tempest! Yeah, temp, Tempest. I see it. Yeah. yeah. So... I had to borrow you guys from Barovia. I had to see how you guys were doing and progressing. Tempest was very interested. Tempest is interested in all of us? Just the three of you in general, because you guys aren't on the same plane. Wait, we, we are on the same plane? No! Barovia is a pocket dimension. It's I... outside of existence. Then, then why are we there? Look, I don't know how you got there, and I don't know who brought you there, but I gotta bring you back there. Yeah? Can you tell us more about Tempest? Or me? I mean, <laughs> what do you want to know? I've... I don't even know where to start. What did he... Well, let's see. What what happened? What'd you, what'd you do while you were away? Oh, uh, well, uh, we fought some goblins, mm. and then... How many goblins? Oh, jeez, like 30. <laughs> more than <laughs> 30,000. <laughs> Easy. He was prepping you for a war. I mean... If you're on the battlefield, you're going to be fighting more than just one person. But why us? I don't know. He looks like a paladin. Yeah, but he's asleep. <laughs> I'm pretty strong at sleep spells. That's why I got scrolls of sleep. Can I have some? No. Please? No. Pretty please. Look, I can smell you from here. I know what you have on that. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Come on. No one's here. Don't bullshit. That's not good stuff, man. I don't judge, but everyone has their own pantheon, but... Tempest is a equal opportunity. He works with guys like that, and he works with guys like you. Guys like me? People who are working for different kinds of demons, yeah. He, will, he goes to a war. He's not lawful evil. He's not lawful good. He's neutral. He's gonna go whoever war favors. Okay. Would would you know the name of a demon? We were transported to the Shadowfell and there was a horned demon with electricity between his horns. Fire. Was it fire? Yeah, it was fire. I mean, I've heard of him. I don't want to say his name. Could you spell it? No, if I write it down, it's going to be the same thing. Well, don't write it down. Just spell it with letters. With my mouth? Out yeah, loud? Yeah, but, but just the letters. It's the same thing. Look, you spell fudge. It's still going to spell out to be fudge. How about the first, all the letters except for the last two, and then mm -hmm. we can guess. Okay, mm -hmm. that's fine. Mm -hmm. Because when you guess, he's going to know where you are. You don't want that, even if you have that. I feel like that would make him more interested in you. I can burn it out. Burn what out? I don't know if that'll work. Mm. Well, I signed a contract. Well, well, uh, you signed a contract. That wasn't smart. Didn't really have a choice. Well, I get that, I guess. So, um. It's going to be a little bit. I can make you go night-night now, or you can hang out with me. Have you ever played uh, Stone Parchment Shears? Have I played Stone Parchment Shears? I was the king of Stone Parchment Shears. Oh, boy. And you see him, and you guys kind of sit crisscross applesauce from each other, and you kind of chit-chat for the next couple of hours, and it seems like what seems like hours it just seems like seconds for the you guys and time passes just so differently that you're with Ketra for so long and when he says we're here it feels like you were there just you just started talking to him wow it feels like I just started talking to you yeah it feels like that are we friends now I mean I make friends with a lot of people yeah so we're friends now <laughs> can be I was friends with the pixie too I'm not a pixie no, I know. You're bigger than that. Yeah, I'm bigger than a pixie. 
Barely. So... Will I see you again? If we need to get out of Barovia, will you take us? I don't know if I can do that. Kind of a one-time thing? There's another challenge, you might see me. Hmm. At least if Tempest has another one. What do you know of Strahd? Hmm. Uh, never fought on myself, but, uh... I hear he's pretty bad. Any advice? Uh, yeah. Lots of uh, radiant energy. Goodness. Goodness defeats badness. As rudimentary as that is, I bet if I could hit you with a smite right now, you'd probably hit pretty hard. Well, I mean, I did just have a big fight, so you're probably right. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Um, shit. And he doesn't curse, damn it. He goes, <laughs> oh, dang it, um, fudge, one more went. And he kind of, you see him like kind of rustle out and he goes in a hallway. And before you know it, he's back and he has this very large box. And he goes, all right, um, I know you can't carry this, but when you wake up, I'll make sure it's like, when everyone wakes up, I'll make sure it's like next to you. Oh, okay, what is it? Oh, you at least get like trinkets when you go, you go like through a gift shop. I mean, I can't let you pick something out, but eh, I, found, I found some stuff and I put it in. Ah, oh, you're a gift shop. That's what this place is. I know you're being sarcastic right now, and I'm pretty smart. I make jokes because I'm emotionally hurt right oh, now. Oh, no, I got I'm it. I'm going to miss you because we're friends. You're doing it again. Sorry. I'm, I'll miss you, too. I've had a very nice 10 hours with you. And he, he pushes the door open, puts the box, and you kind of just hop up on the box, and he goes... Lifts Shard up, puts him on his shoulder like it's nothing, does the same with Rufio, and just kind of fireman carries them out. And you see that it's kind of like dusk, and you're back outside, and you can see Argon Most Hall, not a half mile away. Puts Rufio down, hand on his like chest, so it looks like he's comfortable, kind of props his head up with uh, some brush, so it's comfortable for him when he wakes up. Does the same with Shard. Well... That's me, so good luck, I guess. Thanks, Catra. Yeah, I'll be around. See you around. And he goes in and it closes up. Uh, you two wake with a few hours. And with that, I think we will end our little side adventure in lock. Neat. Neato burrito. Now, only question. So we're not going to see what's in the box yet? We'll see off camera if you want. What's in the box? What's in the box? It's Brendan Paltrow's head. Whoa, spoilers. Oh, no. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, thanks for watching. That was episode 39. 39. Next is episode 40. And if I'll go, 40 will be Amber Temple. Yeah. Yeah. TPK Temple. We're going to die. Temple. <laughs> well, with that attitude, yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Whatever, demon. See you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.